ahead of me, I guess. Hi, and welcome to our YouTube channel. I'm Danielle. And I'm Amir. And together we're Amir and Danielle. Hello. What you'll be seeing on here is backgrounds of our travels, our business, um, any kind of our gear recommendations, background stories on our fitness. We want to share it all with you. And I think the reason why we're starting this YouTube journey is currently right now we're going through a journey ourselves. Mm -hmm. and. We've wanted to do this for, I would say the last eight months. We made a video a couple months back and it wasn't necessarily us. We never published it. <laughs> um, and I think this is a means for us to not only document the journey of where we're going, but at the same time to stay accountable to ourselves and some folks who are watching right now um, to make sure that we get to where we want to get to and maybe even inspire some other people to do uh, what they want to do or exactly. start their own hobby or figure out their own business. So I think the, to, to begin with I think we should introduce ourselves and what we do. Yes. Um, and I am by trade a product manager um, and if you guys don't know what that is, it's essentially there's two types of product managers. One is a very uh, technical focus and one is a very business focused and I'm the business uh, type of product manager. Um, I studied finance and marketing in school. Uh, I was very involved in school. Um, and essentially what I do right now is evolve a product, create revenue or generate more revenue and improve customer experience. Uh, that's my day job. Yeah. And then my day job is I'm a senior art director. So I work in an advertising agency. I started out as a digital designer, um, a designer and then digital designer, art director, now senior art director um, within advertising. We do a lot of different brainstorming on bringing ad campaigns to life. I've worked on clients like uh, Massey Lectures, I did a big thing for um, Infinity. I've worked on uh, Manitoba Harvest and now Mobadi, which is a athletic facility or athletic fitness company here yeah. in Canada. So we actually live in Toronto, Canada. Yeah. Um, and aside from our day jobs, we do a ten, lot. <laughs> ten other things at the same time. A lot. Um, one of which, and the most, I guess, centered, uh, we're focused right now is our photography business. Mm -hmm. We do lifestyle content creation and um, brand work. Yeah, you would and say. weddings. And we weddings. do kind of weddings and portrait sessions, which is again, um, content creation. And that's actually how. Uh, we we met yes. through photography yes. and that's a whole story on its own but um, <laughs> essentially we, we put our two businesses that we had separately together mm -hmm. uh, about two and a half two years ago yep. two and a half years ago we've also combined our love for travel and meeting new people and mm -hmm. Being inspired by the way other people live in different parts of the world and even in Canada as well um, into our photography. Um, with Amir's business background and my art direction background, we are constantly pulled by business ideas. So the thing is, if one of us has a business idea, Amir has the business smarts, um, he's really good at Excel. <laughs> sense. He has the business sense, um, the marketing sense, he knows really well how to set up finances, he's helped our relationship a ton with that too. Um, so he's always able to bring that business mindset to whatever idea we have, where I'm like, I can make us logos, I can make us a website. Um, so it puts us in a really interesting position, which makes us as busy as we are. <laughs> with this, I think with this particular piece of keeping us accountable, our future selves accountable, mm -hmm. and sharing our story with other people, so that way they can be inspired, and again, also keep us accountable, so thank you. We do a lot of goal planning <laughs> every single month, every it's single true. quarter, uh, <laughs> every single year. But the and reason that we do that is because we know that we have so many things that we want to accomplish that for us to break it up into segments being like by April we're going to do this, by June we're going to do this, August this and December this, it actually makes it more doable because you go okay if I want to set up a business first by April there's this tiny little thing I've committed to which will lead me to be able to achieve this thing by June and this thing by August. Yeah. It's helped us a ton. Yeah. Um, so that's kind of a background on what we do um, and then to fill our other time in the day we also are very into fitness. Um, I was I, like, I was like an amateur at the gym before I met Amir. And then when I met him, I was like, oh man, this guy's intense. Um, so it's been the past few years, me keeping up with him and learning a ton from him. Um, so we do weights in the morning and cardio at night and sometimes vary that up a little bit. But we'll share things about that on this YouTube channel as well. Um, but I think what we really want to share too is 
just a bit of our background story, how we met um, and where we're headed in the next year or two. In the past year and a half to two years, there's been a lot of us building and testing and building the foundation mm -hmm. to our to our business and even building the habits of uh, being able to prioritize and, and do what we need to do to get to a certain stage. What we should also talk about is what motivates us to do what we do. Yeah. Um, and why we're doing this again in the first place is one of my biggest fears in life is uh, not being able to achieve my fullest potential. Um, and the reason and the, the background story to that is uh, my my family, my my parents, uh, decided to immigrate from Iran to uh, this beautiful country of Canada when I was just seven years old. They decided to leave a a life of that they had that built for over 40 years, um, and essentially bring myself and my sister here uh, for an opportunity at a better life, an opportunity to for us to achieve what we want to do. And I think. For me, it, that story and that vigor that they demonstrated is the reason why I don't want to live my life not having at least tried to achieve what I wanted to achieve or achieve my dreams. And to me, they have been the biggest sense of um, push and motivation and uh, they, are, they are the reason why I do and what I do on a daily basis and why I think um, I keep going at it day by day. And I think when I met Amir, um, I would say I wasn't, I always wanted to have my own business and like I had done my own photography business before I met Amir, but I think since I met you, I've been really inspired by that motivation that he has to achieve his own business or his own goals. Um, and that's kind of had a huge effect on me in the last two years. So I come from a really small town, Paris, Ontario. I moved away when I was about, I think 17, I went off to school. Um, and I always just wanted to see what else was out there. So growing up in the small town, of course, you, your, your world is, um, your world is, is when, when you're already really young and that's what you know is like there's a drugstore and there's a grocery store and you don't really have a chance to explore past your town at all. Um, I just always had a big urge to go out and see what else is out there. And like Amir was saying earlier, just seeing what other people live um, and really getting to explore has really opened up my eyes. I took my first trip out of the country when I was 18 um, and that was with a college friend of mine. And since we've met, we've traveled a ton um, and learned a lot too, just about how other people live, um, just seeing different different routines people have different and landscapes. the landscapes. And um, it's really opened up our eyes and it's, it's like almost made us want to even do it more. So I think even like what's important in life, yeah. seeing how people are in yeah. the most remote of locations, but yeah. yet live the simplest life yeah. and are so happy. Yeah. And even just bringing that back and looking and, and again, assessing your own life to kind of figure out, well, I'm living in this city. Yeah. I have all these different material objects. But like, um, do you need them? Do you need them? Yeah. And seeing how other people live. It, it's not only also yeah. a humbling experience to go and travel and, and see different places mm -hmm. and document different people and what they do and how they live, but it, is, it also has a grounding factor to you it when you, you are trying to achieve your goals and objectives. That to me means is the end goal isn't always it isn't always a financial thing, which you think it has to be. For us, it's freedom. Favorite place we've been to is Fogo Island. It's in Newfoundland, and we met the most amazing couple there who was so in love. We've written a blog post about it on our AmirAndDanielle.com, and we'll share probably a video about it in the future. But when we met them, that was such a life-changing moment for me because they were just the sweetest couple, and they were so extremely happy. And they had everything they needed on this island of Fogo. And Amir and I took so much away from that because we just thought, at the end of the day, we're so lucky to have each other and like so lucky to have met the way that we did. Um, and I think that's something that for the rest of our lives, we never want to take for granted yeah. and we want to do the most with it possible. Like every single morning when he drops me off for work and then he goes up, up to his work, we're like, I just want to have a day where I don't need to say goodbye to you. And I just want to spend like all my time with you building out our dream. Um, and I think we can do it. It's just a matter of us committing to these milestones that we can achieve. Yeah. Um, do you want to talk about how we met and kind of 
yeah. share that too? I think you say it better than Yeah, I okay. So, <laughs> right. I can fill in yeah. the gaps. <laughs> so how we met is just really funny to us because we really do feel like it's the luckiest, luckiest thing that's ever happened to us. Um, we had both come out of long-term relationships and they, we both met our, our, our previous relationships. We had met them in person, so through school. Um, and now this was us being single in our later or like yeah, later twenties, early, early twenties, and not being in a school environment anymore. So naturally, you kind of panic. Either we're both not into drinking, so we thought we can't really go up to clubs and meet people. Um, we both were super busy with the gym and with our photography and, and our work and our work. And so we thought, oh my gosh, we're going to be single forever. And no, how I'm just kidding. Um, but then we both also didn't want to go on Tinder because that was we knew it was kind of just more for hookups, and that it was had that kind of our has that stigma. It yet. had that stigma for sure. Um, so we actually ended up both being on Bumble, and with Bumble. It's interesting because the woman has to talk first. Um, we were very lucky to have met. So my profile picture at the time was when, when I had my profile was um, me holding a camera. And I thought if I'm going to be on this platform, first and foremost, I want it to be true to what I love doing, which was photography. Um, so I didn't want a beautiful selfie that had like the perfect filter on it. I thought it's going to be me holding my camera, and whoever swipes on that photo is going to know that my camera is my best friend. <laughs> so Amir, um, Amir and I connected, and I thought. Oh my god, he's so hot. I didn't know what to say. I honestly did not know what to say. His photo was like taken over his shoulder and it was him um, sitting on like the edge of an escarpment in Hamilton and his muscle was like just like glistening in the sun. It was absolutely stunning. And so I, I'm like, okay, this let's just take a long shot. This photo shot. is not as oh my god, it intense is. as it sounds. It, is. it was beautiful. <laughs> so anyway, so I was like, let's just take a chance. You know, nothing to lose here. Swipe right. And it was like a connection. And I was like, Oh my god. So I said, hey, how's your day going? Like I didn't know what else to say and I had, the world was my oyster. I could have said anything to him. I could have had a joke. I could have had a compliment, but I was just like, how's your day going? And it was the first online conversation I had ever had with like, with a, with a boy. So, and then his response. I was, was like, hello. And you had me at the Canon 5D Mark III. Yeah. And that, that was the camera I was holding. Like camera. And so I was just like, oh my god, it worked. Like I was like, he noticed my camera. and. Also, I mean, it was like he noticed me, but he noticed my camera. And so I was like, oh, you know about photography. So we met after a week and we met at a Mexican restaurant and we were sitting across the table from one another. And after about 15 minutes, I was like, I'm sorry, I just gotta come sit beside you. So like, I came and sat beside him and like, I was just like glued to him. I didn't know what was happening. I was just like totally overcome. Um, I almost want to share a separate video about what Amira did on our first date because it was just so cool. Um, but essentially this was our timeline. So by our third date, we booked a trip together to PEI, committed to, you know, wanting to be adventurous together, wanting to explore. We said, let's do it. Booked a trip. We moved in together after three months. Yeah, so we'll share a lot more videos going into detail about different stories that we've kind of alluded to in this intro video. Um, but overall, that's what you can expect from us in the coming year um, on this channel and for years to come. So- Oh, one more thing. We we know the importance of, of somebody or something being a factor of starting yes. uh, your passion or yes. starting a new hobby which turns into a passion, which turns into a full-time thing, which turns into income, which turns into your dreams. So with this, we hope that, I'm getting goosebumps when I say this, <laughs> we hope that somebody, and if there's just one person out there that is watching this, yeah. that is going through a rough time or going through, um, let's say, ups and downs in their life, and is inspired by this, inspired by our story, just know that there's other people out there just like you who are as motivated as you are yes have dreams have yes. goals that have objectives yes. and are looking to achieve them and if you're inspired by us or or if we inspired you or anything like that or or we can be inspired by you uh, we hope you find these videos useful because Definitely. i think one of the things that we're very grateful for is we had people in our lives throughout our journey so far that either believed in us or 100%. or gave us opportunities or pushed us forward to go beyond our comfort zone uh, mm -hmm. to be able to speak to you the, the way we are. And hopefully we'll meet more of those people and hopefully we, with this particular uh, channel or this output, uh, we can do the same for other people and such. So, yes. And I think that's our end message here and what Amir is saying as well, um, is whenever, you're, whenever you have an idea, 
the first and hardest step is you just have to start it. So by us committing to this video and us committing to little milestones throughout the next videos that we're gonna share is us just starting. And I feel like we all set up so many things in our lives that are roadblocks and we go, we can't do this because of this. We can't do this because we don't have the right lighting or we don't have the right this, that blah, blah, blah. You just do it. So yeah. this is us saying, taking our own advice and saying, just go for it. Um, and we're, we're really excited. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for thank watching you. this first <laughs> video. There was definitely going to be more of these. Yeah. Um, be sure to let us know what mm -hmm. you guys want to see. Yeah. Uh, we'll leave our socials down below as well. Mm -hmm. If you guys want to check us out and the blog post that you yes, mentioned. Yes, definitely. Um, and then, so uh, the other thing is you have to hit the subscribe button and also hit the bell. That way you know when our next videos come out. Um, they're going to be coming out hopefully once a week. So you should be getting a notification just once a week that we release a new video. Um, and we would love your feedback on them. Yeah. And if you're a first subscriber, thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. We love you already. Thank you. <laughs>